Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Wiley. I'm here. In today's video, I want to cover the top four places I like to get used gear. If you've been following the channel for quite a bit, you know that I'm really big into getting used gear. That's because I like to use a lot of different gear for a variety of different topics and events. But unfortunately, a lot of this gear is expensive. So getting it a little bit cheaper is definitely on the top of my list of things to do. So here are my top four websites that I always check for used gear that I'm really looking for. The first two are much more beginner friendly. They're very well known sites and that is Adorama or b &H Photo. Both of these are very large camera websites. They carry a wide variety of gear. The only downside to them is that one, their discount isn't going to be as aggressive because they're very well known and a lot of their products sell really well. So if you actually see something that you want that's used, you usually have to grab it very quickly or it's gonna go out of stock super quick. Of the two, I actually prefer Adorama more. I kind of feel like their discount on used equipment is better than B&H. I just feel like B&H is kind of the top dog anytime people talk about photo or video gear. So what I usually do is I usually try to find the used gear on Adorama just because I think there is a little bit of a better discount there. A lot of times when I actually buy used gear on B&H, it's just that I'm willing to buy brand new. It's just that there is a used version and I usually just go for the used version. When I'm shopping on Adorama, I'm usually a little bit more picky on the products that I'm buying used. I'm also buying at a lower grade. Their grading quality is like excellent, like new and stuff like that. But I'm usually looking at the very good quality level. So I'm very comfortable actually buying products at the very good quality level which is which is to the point where you know the products being used but it's still a very good quality product and you know it's going to last you a very long time for anybody who's starting to buy used equipment you probably do want to start at the excellent or like new category and save yourself a little bit of money but you know you're going to be getting a quality product it's just that for the money that I want to save, you're just going to have to go a little bit lower. And I feel like at Adorama, you really want to be at the very good or above. Uh, for B&H, I would say probably eight and above. I don't really generally look at anything below seven for B&H, but those are my quality standards that I go for when I'm shopping at Adorama or B&H. The next two places that I like to shop these two websites are kind of my bargain bin places that I want to shop. I really want deep discounts if I'm going to be buying from either of these websites. I'm talking about minimum 30, 40, 50, 60 percent. Anything, anything less than 30 percent, I'm not going to be interested in. Usually I'm shooting for 40 to 50 percent on both these websites. So keep that in mind. I don't really buy like new from these websites, but I feel like they offer really good discounts on product that are still excellent in quality, even though they rate them kind of low because there's, you know, either dang cosmetic wear and tear, but I've never really gotten a product from them that I actually had to return. So the first one we're going to talk about is mpb.com. This is a smaller website. They offer really good deals. They also put things on sale that aren't selling. I get a lot of equipment from them that are really good deals. A lot of my lenses come from them and they're usually around 40% off, which is a great savings. This is how I get my collection of camera equipment and also lenses. But keep in mind though, in order to get this type of discount, they're going to have quite a bit of wear and tear on them. But if you're using a quality brand and the construction is good on them, I really don't see much of a problem and cosmetic wear isn't something I really care about and I'm just good with it. Uh, the next place, this one I would caution you on buying stuff from there because uh, LensAuthority.com actually sells used rental equipment. Used rental equipment has quite a bit of wear and tear. Like these, these type of equipment is used really hard. You can really tell because I've purchased a few lenses from them and I usually don't mind buying from them because the discount is well worth it, but you do have to be selective and it's a good idea to actually email them and talk to them. They will respond. They usually respond within a day. But if you're looking for some really good discounts, uh, check out lensauthority.com. I do like to buy camera bodies from them. When you buy use from them, they check their equipment meticulously. So when they say there's something wrong or if there's something not wrong, I usually trust them very much uh, in terms of what they're saying about the used equipment. I haven't bought anything from them that I actually had to return. All of the equipment that I've been using with them 
has been performing very well. Uh, the 10 to 24 that I use quite a lot on my Fuji cameras, it actually came from Lens Authority and it was at a very deep discount. So both these websites, mpv.com and Lens Authority, I definitely shoot for equipment that has been well used. Like I said, I've been buying used equipment for decades now, so I don't really mind getting equipment that looks like it's been through the ringer a few times because for the most part, uh, the equipment that I'm buying, I know they're really well constructed. So cosmetic wear isn't something that I'm concerned about. This is something that if you're going to be in the camera game for a very long time, you definitely want to check out. Buying used gear saves you just an absolute ton of money. And most of the time, the gear is going to be perfect. Are there going to be lemons out there? Absolutely. But from what I've seen from the, all of the gears that I've bought over the years, it's very rare. A lot of these websites, they have very good inspections before they actually purchase the camera from whatever person that is selling them. So they're not really going to sell you lemons and they have a reputation to keep. They don't really want to tarnish their reputation. So a lot of the stuff that they have there, they're going to be decently priced and you're going to save a ton of money. And it's generally going to be perfectly fine. It's going to be in great working condition. So if you have any questions about any of these websites or if you want to suggest some of your own, definitely put it in the comments below. I would love to read them. There are plenty of used websites, but these are the four that I kind of gravitate to on a yearly basis and it's paid off well for me. If you have some that you like to use, definitely let me know. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.